Can there have been any goals that have meant more to Kevin McDonald than this one? It is his first goal in five years. Remember, he had that kidney transplant donated by his brother. Thinks he can play for another couple of years. It's his first Exeter goal, his first in five years. Well done. Kevin McDonald. Of course there's times you doubt everything, uh, getting back playing, getting back to a level and I think as time went on and, and more and more each day I put my mind to it and realised my body was kind of healing quicker and better than what I thought. It was like, right, okay, we're, we're, go we're going for this here, we're going to try and do whatever it takes to, to get back playing football and, and we, we pushed hard at times, it was tough at times but we, we got through, you know, plenty of pain barriers to get here and it's just obviously each day now is just obviously a blessing playing football, it's great to be back out and a good club and amongst a good, good, good set of lads. McDonald has spent his entire career managing IgA nephropathy, a chronic disease which causes deterioration of the kidney's performance. It hadn't stopped a great career, helping Wolves to promotion and Fulham to the Premier League. But then, two years ago, blood tests revealed the time had come for a transplant. I phoned, it must have been my partner at the time, and I was quite emotional because obviously I was like, well, I might not actually play again, but at the time I felt absolutely fine, but my blood tests showed otherwise, so that was a kind of real a real hitting home point, um, but yeah, then after that, that was the that was leading up to that was end of end of 2020, November 2020, and then it was all systems go. Football was now in the back of my mind. It was it was so focused was getting sorted to, to get a transplant sooner rather than later. There were no shortage of donors offering to help McDonald in his hour of need. I first and foremost thank every single person because there was my friends, there was my family members who who obviously my, my parents, aunties, um, cousins and stuff, so everyone, there was a lot of people who were willing to donate, which was, which was, was great, you know, it was such a, such a blessing for something like that to, yeah. to happen, because at, at the end of the day, I'm probably going to need another one in my lifetime, that's, that's probably how it's going to go, so I'll, I'll revisit them in two years <laughs> to come, hopefully later, later down the line, but yeah, um, so I just came to my brother and my best mate, and, and obviously they were kind of good matches and stuff, and it was like, right, you know, we're willing to do this, whatever it, whatever it takes, whatever you want, you know, and, and that's kind of how it was. And I mean, it's probably, it would, he's obviously got two kids and my brother does, so it was probably things went through him, but at the end of the day, I'm his brother and he was like, you know, listen, I'll do anything for you. And, you know, obviously I'm going to be forever grateful. He's the reason why I'm here today. So um, a, lot, a lot of praise and credit goes to him for sure. The hardest part was actually, because it was during COVID, um, leaving the family, that was, that was the hardest part. Um, and because of obviously the isolation period down in London, um, it felt like I was away for so long as well. We were in the hospital and we got it done on the Friday and I remember on the Monday Fraser left the hospital, like literally three days later I was like, right, okay, on you go and I was thinking, you know, like, it's, it's a quick in and out job it is. Yeah. And obviously mine would have been probably the Tuesday, Wednesday to then leave the hospital, but obviously I then got the rejection at the start of it, which was, was obviously a problem at the time, was obviously worrying at the time was that. So um, the recovery process was different because I was then in hospital for probably three weeks or so. When your body initially rejects the kidney, are you thinking, well, that's it, that it's not working? Yeah, I remember thinking to myself, like, you know, I won't swear, but I remember thinking like, this is, you know, what chance we got here? Because obviously they're looking from a doctor's point of view, my brother was fit, healthy, good age. I'm fit, good age, in a good match, everything. So all signs pointing to be a, to being to being going all right. And and for to hear that, to see this blood result not coming down, it was like, and it was each day. Then obviously the hard part starts when I got to go into a drip for ten hours a day for for ten days, and that was hard. That was long. Like I wouldn't say emotional as such, but it was draining. It was just sat there. And then when you start to see the blood results getting better, you're like, right, okay, here we go, here we're, we're, we're getting better, which was the main thing. The player came through and under Gary Coldwell, he's thriving for Exeter in League One, with his brother watching on from a distance back in Scotland. First and foremost, just happy that he's regained his health. He seems to be feeling good. But yeah, at the moment, it's just, it's fantastic to see him back out there and smile on his face again and seems to be really enjoying it. Um, yeah, so there's... Massively, massively proud of him, yeah. He was an alright player, he was actually. Um, centre midfielder, he's still, I think he plays now in th over 35s league, he just runs around and smashes people and he <laughs> loves it, he does like uh, opposite to me. Did you play with Kevin growing up? Did the two of you kick a ball around as kids? Yeah, we always used to play like when more, when more little. And yeah, you could see you could see quite early on that he was going to be decent. Um, it was just how good he was going to be. Uh, but yeah, we used to play all the time. And that was just passed on from my dad as well, because dad played all the time as well. So yeah, it was great. So can you take a bit of responsibility for nurturing him through and bringing him in? Oh yeah, 100%. We've always had a good relationship, well, clearly. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be stood here. He's keen on football, so he's always on me about football. He's been like that my whole career. He loves it, he does. So he wants me to do well. And, and you know, it's great that 
I'm doing well as part of him as such. You know, it's all kind of as a family together, and, and, and he's a huge part of, of, of why, we're, why we're doing this. Hopefully, this will spread the word in the wider kidney community so they can see that there is success stories out there and hopefully give like a positive light on it for other people going through it as well. And the inspirational brothers are hoping there are plenty more appearances and goals still to come.